Welcome to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven, and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into the most insane, epic, crazy, ridiculous bourbon hunt I've ever gone on. Like, this is out of this world. But before we get into that, as always, do those YouTube -y things, like, comment, and subscribe. Helps us out a ton, but let's get into it. So, this video is going to be kind of covering the most insane epic bourbon hunt that I just recently within the last month went on. So this was a weekend of sending it. I was looking around 2023 has been a weird year for me. I haven't gone super heavy into the bourbon hunting. I haven't found a lot of new limited stuff because I just haven't been hunting. And I looked around, saw I have like borderline no limited edition releases for 2023 and we're we're in a july now i need a few of those limiteds and all you know i want to try some stuff in 2023 so i took my credit card and i left the door out set sales trying to find some new limited edition bourbon and today i'm going to cover all of the things i got during that three-day weekend friday saturday and sunday but before we get into that a word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by Z Biotics. If you're like me and sometimes you struggle doing your daily routine or getting up in the morning and going to the gym like myself after a night of enjoying a few bourbons, well, Z Biotics might just be the answer you're looking for. Z Biotics Pre Alcohol Probiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Just remember to drink Zbiotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. Thanks to Zbiotics, I'm no longer skipping the gym after a night of live streaming with you all. So stay prepared for those upcoming summer events and go to Zbiotics and order right now. Go to zbiotics.com forward slash tipsy or scan the QR code right here to receive 15% off when you use the code at checkout, the code tipsy at checkout. Also, you can use that code to sign up for a subscription so you can stay prepared for any of those events you have going on. Zbiotics is also 100% money back guaranteed. So for whatever reason you are unsatisfied, they will refund you, no questions asked. Remember to go to zbiotics.com forward slash tipsy to receive 15% off your first order using the code tipsy at checkout. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this week's episode. All right, let's get right into this. And these are in no particular order of the ones I found or whatever, because I'll be honest, it was a month ago. I don't really remember which ones I found first. But to get right into it, the first one, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B523. I like this bottle. Not a lot of people really, really said they like this bottle. I've actually heard more negative stuff about it than positive stuff. Um, this is the first batch that they have gone away from the 12 year age statement. This is 11 and a half years old, 124.2 proof. And I still think it's a really solid Elijah Craig bear proof. 80 bucks, solid buy zero complaints here. Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs are still a knock out of the park no matter what at that price point and that age. Is this as good as other batches? No, but this is still really, really solid Elijah Craig Barrel Proof and I'm not disappointed in that purchase at all, especially at $80, man. That is a great purchase at that. And after that one, a kind of, I know this is a bourbon video, but this is the only rye that I'm putting on this list. Frey Ranch Rye. So Freight Ranch has just recently, within like the last like month, month and a half or so, kind of expanded into Arizona. Maybe a little bit uh, more than a month and a half. I honestly can't remember. But uh, I haven't really picked up a lot of their stuff. I've tried some of their stuff before in the past and I knew I really liked it, but I didn't pick it up. And I found this on the shelf for $35. 100 proof rye bottled in bond from Frey Ranch for like $35. I bought that instantly. No hesitation. Instant no hesitation buy because this is ridiculously good, especially at 35. I think there was some sort of accounting error because I've seen it 
quite a few other places and I've never seen it for 35. This is the only place I ever saw it for 35. But at 35, that is a straight up daily drinker that'll knock your socks off. I would pay up to probably 50, 60 bucks for it because it is that good. But at 35s, I'm going back and I'm buying all of those as soon as, you know, the next month so I can recover from this bourbon hunting video. But after that, getting back into bourbon, two Doc Swinson's Exploratory Casks. I got this one first. So this was a Friday pickup. This is going to be the El Cuerpo. This is the uh, Sherry Cask Finished Doc Swinson's. And this is all source MGP. They all say distilled in Indiana back there. But the kind of exploratory casks are their kind of finishing excavations or they're kind of seeing, hey, what does this kind of finishing do to this bourbon, rye, so on and so forth. And honestly, they're all knocks out of the park. Like I have yet to have a bad one. There has been a few that I've tried where I'm like, this isn't up my alley, but I have not had one where I'm like, that is bad. It's really, really good finished MGP. But this El Cuerpo, uh, cash strength 113, or at least high proof, 113.6%. Uh, Pedro Jimenez, Sherry cast finish. And then this is a Bo Bossa Nova, Bossa Nova, Bossa Nova. Um, this is Amberana, Brazilian Amberana cast finished and it's 112.8 proof, and these are ridiculously good. This is like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This is one of the most interesting bottles I've had in a hot minute, and I wanna now start trying to finish some stuff in Amber on a cast, because I absolutely love those two bottles, and both of those I got around for that $70, $75 range. I can't totally remember off the top of my head, but really, really great, especially at that price point. And then after that one, Barrel Batch 034. This one I reviewed a minute ago. Barrel graciously sent me a sample of uh, the 034 about probably four or five months ago, and I really, really liked it. I just didn't pick it up because, again, I haven't been super active with hunting, but this one I just had to actually finally go out and buy a bottle uh, because, again, I really liked it. I just didn't pick it up until just recently when I found out, you know, that 035 was coming out and that, you know, I didn't have one yet. But after that one, one that kind of surprised me, which is Maker's Mark BEP 2023. Because I'll be honest, I didn't read the label when I purchased it. I might have made a mistake. Uh, or I, I was this close to making a mistake. Obviously, none of these I've gotten super into if I haven't tried them before, like that batch 34, um, outside of the Frey Ranch, because that's just a dang good deal. But this is not French Oak Stay Finish. And one thing I will say is a lot of these uh, casts or like the ones in these bottles, they're finished in French Oak, and I like that. I'm not a huge weeded bourbon flavor profile kind of fan, but these are dang good good. So this is just toasted oak and this is like a toasty maker's mark. It is absolutely fantastic. Blew my socks off and I got this one for around $70, which is about the cap I would like to spend on these things. The bourbon market's getting a little ridiculous, but I was not disappointed. Um, when I took this home and I read the label, I was a little worried because I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I just, usually if it's in this bottle, I'm like, oh, hey, this is going to be good. But I was worried this was going to taste like normal Maker's Mark, but it did not. This was really, really freaking good. So I'm happy I got that one. And yeah, I'll be honest, all of these have been like good purchases. So this was a fantastic, not only the most expensive bourbon hunting trip I've ever been on, but also probably the most rewarding. Outside of there's one on this list that I have not tried, and that is, I'll just bring them all up, my Iron Roots. So... Iron Roots. I picked up a lot of limited edition Iron Roots stuff. Um, technically, this one isn't from 2023. This is a 2020. This is the uh, Winter Solstice Hazmat Tri Barrel Blend from them. Uh, I got this online like last year and I just didn't pick it up until this weekend basically. Um, but that's with all of these. I bought them online and I just didn't pick them up till a hot minute ago. Uh, this is 141.5 proof tri-barrel harbingers. The most recent one, the summer solstice. This was a winter solstice. Uh, so this one's a 2023 batch. Uh, but this one, 
again hazmat so i haven't broken into it but they're all they're all three barrels of the harbinger that they blend together that like kind of signify that time of year and so far i haven't had a bad tri barrel this one's really freaking good um but i'm super excited for this hazmat i'm saving the hazmat for a special occasion and then the most exciting bottle uh icarus iron icarus so this uh was in another video i did recently this is corn whiskey that's finished in port and peated casks and again haven't really delved too deep into it but this is super interesting because there is this nice red fruitiness and a little bit of smoke in there because of that peated barrel finish and usually the smoke just takes over but the smoke is so subtle and then there's that little bit of that red fruity characteristic going on like this is a really exciting and then that sweetness from the corn because if you've never had just their straight up corn whiskey iron roots corn whiskey i think it's called the hubris is so freaking good that's one of my favorite of their just like core line of products and that just takes that and cranks it up to another level. You have to be a little bit okay with smoke because the smoke is subtle, but it's still smoky. But man, that is a really, really interesting pour. But yeah, that'll be a wrap for my insane bourbon hunting video. Again, the craziest bourbon hunt I've ever been on, the most bottles I've ever bought, the most money I've ever spent, but also probably the most successful one because I only bought bottles that ended up being really, really good. Um, bar, you know, that hazmat one that I just haven't tried because I don't know if it's really good, but I can't imagine it's gonna be bad. Um, please do me that favor, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you thought about this video. Also, what have been your insane epic buys recently as well. Also, check out the Facebook, Instagram, and the Patreon. Links for all that stuff are down there below. That is a wrap. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later. Thank you.